let us try to define what conductivity of a material is. Whenever we apply voltage across a conductor, there will be current flowing through that. But for the same voltage, this current will not be same for all conductors of same dimension. That means, if you use an aluminium conductor and measure the current through it, and then you use a copper conductor of same dimension, that is of same length and cross section, and measure the current through it, you will find the current in copper conductor is more than that of aluminium conductor for same applied voltage. This is because current carrying capability of copper is more than that of aluminium. Again, if we do the same observation by using same dimensional conductors of different materials, we will find different currents flowing through them for same applied voltage. From these observations, we can conclude that current carrying capability of different materials are different. This current carrying capability of a particular material is measured in terms of conductivity of that material. And conductivity is defined as the inducement offered by the conductor to the flow of current and is measured in Simmons per meter. By this explanation, it is quite clear that conductivity of material is opposite property of resistivity. We know that by resistivity, we measure how a material resists the flow of current through it. Hence, Mathematically, conductivity is the reciprocal of resistivity. Resistivity of a material is denoted as rho and conductivity of the material is generally denoted as lambda and it is equal to 1 by rho. This was all about conductivity of a material. Now we will try to understand what is conductance of a conductor. The reciprocal of resistance, that is 1 by R, is called conductance and is denoted by English letter G. The unit of conductance is Mo. Now, in modern engineering, the unit is denoted as Simmons, although Mo and Simmons are same, that is 1 Simmons equal to 1 Mo. Thank you.